What is up guys? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. We are happy to have you back. Luna's happy to have you back even though she's a little vocal today, a little bit whiny, but that's okay. Today we have an important topic that we want to discuss with you guys. And today we are going to cover the biggest mistakes that Jack Russell Terrier owners make. The things that you can avoid or should avoid, the things that are gonna make the journey a little bit easier if you plan to adopt this dog. And hopefully we can go over some of the mistakes that Luna and I made that can help save you some of the potential headache, stress, anxiety, things like that to make your adoption that much easier. As always guys, before we jump into the video, we like to welcome you all back we like to inform you that we are back making videos weekly so we would appreciate it if you would hit that thumbs up button on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already the channel is dedicated towards making videos to help you raise care for and know the ins and outs of the Jack Russell Terrier so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into those mistakes that Luna and I made and we're not afraid to admit it starting with mistake number one guys and mistake number one with this dog she's hiding Mistake number one with this dog, guys, and keep in mind, none of these are listed in any particular order. They're all pretty crucial mistakes to understand, so it's not ranked one through whatever. Just keep that in mind. But mistake number one, guys, is not understanding how stubborn of a dog the Jack Russell Terrier is. And that is not to deter you from adopting them. That is to prepare you for their personality. This dog, this dog is stubborn with just about everything you can think of. So if you come out of the gates after the adoption and you're not kind of laying down the law right away or enforcing training discipline socialization they are quick to try and become the one that runs the show so you need to establish a little bit of dominance a little bit of that alpha mentality with the dog and realize that they are going to give you some challenges if you understand this going into it you're not going to be thrown off guard whenever it happens which is typically what is going to happen for most individuals who adopt this dog which leads us right into pretty much part B of the same mistake and that is kind of taking your time and procrastinating with training and discipline. If you take your time and you don't get started right away with this dog, all you're doing is creating more work on the back end. You're going to create more work for yourself and it's going to be harder to undo bad habits. So with socialization, with basic commands, with potty training, with crate training, things like that, you need to be starting those day one if you want the best results with this dog. If you want the Jack Russell to turn into the dog that it can be, or how good it can be, then you need to begin immediately with all of those training techniques. As far as which training techniques you actually choose, that is completely up to you. As long as there is some kind of formal training taking place, which usually is going to involve rewarding good behaviors and trying to deter bad behaviors. Clicker training is a great option with this dog to start with. When it comes to socialization, get them around people, pets, as much as you can early. The earlier, the better. This dog, I don't know what you even smell right now. What do you, what do you, I think that's like Lysol. Don't lick that, that won't taste good. The more you can get this dog around early, the better they're going to behave and react in those situations later. So start that process as quickly as possible. Number three is actually almost completely on you as the owner. One of the biggest mistakes that I made was just not being in the right mindset out of the gates. You have to be mentally ready for this dog. The reason being is that even if you follow those first few tips that I just talked about, let's say you start the training, you start the discipline early, you start the socialization, and you understand how stubborn they are. If you're not in the right mindset and you don't have patience built into you and ready to go and you don't understand that there's going to be quite a few frustrations and failures, you're still kind of setting yourself up for frustration and failure is the best way to put it. There's a lot of mistakes that get made with this dog. It can be with proofing the yard, which I'll actually cover here soon, but this dog is pretty un unpredictable. They're very loyal, very loving, and very smart, and they do respond to training, but they are always going to throw you for a loop. No matter what you think you have planned, they can undo it really quickly. So you need to basically be prepared that no matter how good you are with dogs, that this dog will challenge you, your patience will be tested, but the end reward is 100% worth it. So if you're prepared for that, you're gonna be in great shape. One of the next biggest mistakes I made, guys, was just underestimating this dog's physical abilities and prey drive. It seems kind of silly to rank this so highly as a mistake, but like I live in just basically a city. So we're not talking about like far a farm, the kind of rodents and things you would get at like a farmhouse. We are talking about just, you know, 
rabbits sometimes and squirrels and you know you get the occasional possum or raccoon but this dog's prey drive is insane she like the first thing she does when she goes outside is does like a straight beeline wraps the entire yard goes into the trees zigzags checks under the porches where she will dig we had to train the digging out of her but if you underestimate this dog's actual prey drive and their physical abilities to get to where they're trying to get you're going to be in a world of hurt as well because if they have a scent that they pick up or something that they're going after they are going to get it so you need to be prepared and do the things that will keep them safe from getting out of the yard or getting into situations where they're constantly going after you know rabbits under the porch things like that i cannot tell you how many animals she has personally destructed unfortunately it wasn't like brutal or anything like that but they are no longer with us so to speak and it was animals that you would commonly think of a hunting dog like this being capable of getting but make sure you don't underestimate that ability with this dog because it will come back to bite you in the butt if you do which kind of leads directly into the next biggest mistake people make with this dog is and that is just purely not understanding the jack russell terrier what they need how they behave and what makes them happy at their core and that is a lot of the things that we've talked about tons of times on this channel we're talking about things like exercise needs we're talking about their need to be around you it's not just this annoying behavior it is annoying behavior but it's not like they do it and it can just be stopped they want to be around you she will whine whenever i'm not in the room and it yeah it's probably some of a separation anxiety issue but it's also just this is when they're happy when they're in your lap they're with you and they can see what's going on so that the more that you can accommodate that and just give this dog what they truly need is when you're going to be in the best shape it's when both you know pet and human are going to be the happiest is when they get what they need they behave in a better fashion they you know all dogs are like that dogs can act out for stress reasons they can act out because they're mad they can act out because they're sad so if you just truly understand this dog before you go to the adoption and do as much research as you can you're going to be in a lot better shape and that's one of the biggest recommendations i can give to all of you before we even remotely go into any other mistakes is all of this can be not fixed overnight and you cannot prepare prepare for what any individual Jack Russell is going to do. They're all going to be different. Luna is Luna. Another Jack Russell will be very similar, but they still have their own personalities. But research this dog. Do as much as you can. Go to websites like terrierowner.com. Read some of our 180, 200 blog posts that are dedicated to raising this dog and other breeds of terriers. Just because you can't pinpoint every behavior directly tied to Luna does not mean it will not educate you and make you a lot better prepared. And you can do this in a few days. I'm not saying that you need to go sit down you know and study this dog in and out i'm just saying take the time to do some reading you know watch some videos on the dog on this channel anywhere you want and just learn about what they need and how they behave and then you can provide that or you can make the decision that it's just not the dog for you and that is a perfectly okay decision to make it is better you make that decision than adopt it thinking you know what you're doing and you don't or thinking that you're mentally ready and then you absolutely hate owning a dog with this kind of energy or demeanor you know like I always say guys this dog can become one of the best you can adopt so always keep that in mind always remember that we're not trying to deter people from adopting we're just trying to make sure the right people adopt and of course the thumbs up on the video always goes a long way it really tells the YouTube algorithm that you are enjoying these videos and that we should keep making more of them for you so show us some love with that thumbs up smash it now be sure to hit the notification button so you're notified every week when these new videos come out subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure to hit up terrierowner.com on your way out, everything you need to know about Jack Russell's is on that website. And outside of that, guys, we will catch you in the next video. We appreciate you stopping by today and take care. Mm -hmm.